sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little DIY wax, but here you need accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. I'm that bitch. Yeah. Been that bitch, still that bitch. Will forever be that bitch. Forever be that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're gonna want a pot, a cup of sugar, and some lemons. Okay, so personally, I'm using fresh lemons, and I'm just squeezing out of the lemon juice. And I am going to use two tablespoons of that with this recipe. You also can use one fourth of lemon. So I'm turning the stove on medium heat, which is four for my stove. And I'm going to put the one cup of sugar in, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And don't be like me, y'all. I got the lemon seeds in the pot. Look at this. Now that I got the seeds out, I'm gonna take one fourth cup of water and pour it into the mixture and literally stir it all together. So then I take a bowl of water and put some ice in it. And this is just gonna give me the ability to be able to cool the wax off. So I have the wax still, you know, coming together. I constantly was stirring it and looking at the mixture, but I'm gonna be honest, I honestly didn't even know when the mixture was quite ready. This is my very first time doing it. So I just kept taking uh, some of the mixture and putting it into the cold water. And then I would like literally pick it up out of the water and feel the texture. And what I'm looking for in the texture is like a glob, but kind of like what you see right now, but you didn't want it to be too slimy or too hard. So where I made a mistake at is I continued to let it boil while I was messing with that one little piece that I took out of the mixture. So it kind of crystallized the rest of the wax and it made it a little bit too hard. But just continue to watch and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now this is what you want your mixture to look like. If you did it correctly, it should be like a glob. It should be a little squishy. It shouldn't have any hard parts in it. Uh, it shouldn't be slimy, like too slimy. It shouldn't be like, um, how do you say it? Like getting stringy, like when you lift it up and like pouring it from, pulling it from something else. It shouldn't be stringy. So literally watch me pour this into the bowl. Like you can see how it all sink to the bottom and how like it's gravitating towards the bottom. And do you see like some of that? I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, hold on. So do you see how like within the glob, there's like sm like smaller balls or knots of glob, if that makes sense. It's literally where I overcooked the mixture. So it's like kind of crystallized. That's what I was trying to talk about earlier. So I'm just gonna try and let it cool and show you guys what the mixture is looking, at, looking like throughout the process. So after several minutes of letting it cool off, I noticed the mixture was very hard, like at the bottom. It was hard for me to pull off, so I got a spoon so that I can get the rest of it up. But I do highly recommend using a thermometer if you have one, like a meat thermometer, so you're able to tell the temperature of the mixture so that you won't have to go through this filled process. I'm definitely gonna try it again and show you guys the process that I get, but continue to watch this video so you can see the whole outcome, okay? So after I finished letting it sit, I realized I let it sit too long because it was way too hard. So I put it in the microwave and it ended up looking like that. I put it on for 30 seconds, biggest mistake ever. So don't do that when you're doing your DIY wax. So now the goal is to cool it off. Okay, so y'all don't make the mistake like me. I went, I let it cool off and then I kept it in the ice. And when I came back, as you guys can see, the ice was completely melted. So obviously, you know, it was pretty cool, but it was too cool, off. So I put it in the microwave, y'all, and let me tell you. Now it's like too liquidy. Like it's supposed to, I mean, I got some that's, but see, that's way too liquidy. So I gotta wait for it to harden back up, and then I will show you guys. 
I want to say we'll wax this way. Y'all want to see? I'm going to try. Let's try. Okay, so I can feel the mixture trying to work, especially the more I smooth it over my leg because I can feel like the little hair is pulling. So I know it's, it's you know, it's, it's able to be done. You just have to do it correctly. I told you guys, I think I messed up with the temperature. Honestly, I definitely let the mixture cook way too long. Um, that's why I was, see right here, I'm rubbing at my hairs because that kind of hurt when I tried to like rip it off. And why did I use a napkin? I don't know, just pray for me. Like, it should never look like this. I think I, I, I definitely, I know, I definitely overcooked it. Just don't make that mistake as I am. Because, like, right now, it like, you might not can't tell, but it is hurting me because it was pulling my hair when I'm trying to smooth it on. So I highly recommend you doing it when it's warm. And so that way it can form to your leg a little bit better or wherever you're shaving or, I mean, excuse me, waxing at. So... Just make sure you get that temperature right. <laughs> Don't even ask y'all. Yes, I'm using a post-it note. I only did that because like usually when you go get wax done, like if they use the paper, they will put paper down on it. So I was like, ooh, post-it note's paper kind of. Like, I don't know. Just pray for me, y'all. Just pray for me. This whole thing was just shit. Like, it's just ruined. But I did tell my subscribers and my followers on Instagram that I would be posting this video so here it is, even though it is a fail, but just learn from my mistakes so that way your mixture can be A1, okay? And then make sure y'all comment or uh, message me what you did to make your mixture work. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Forever be that bitch. Forever be that bitch. <laughs> yeah. I